we start again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should we? Yeah, I think the video was stopped. Uh, so I think we start again about the, uh, the mother's question, like um, Junior's mother's death. So talk about again. Um, this mother, Axinas, first day. The only thing, the funny thing is that when the Junior's mother is dead, and then he was, he was told us that. Yeah. And I told you that maybe this, this one is related to the book of the prophecy. Maybe there's something in his name. That's why um, we talk about them one, maybe it's the 15 or 16. How did he. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a little spoiler. Everything that is happening has already been said in the book of prophecy. Because you travel time, this and this and this will happen. So it's already been said, okay. But it's going to happen eventually, little by little. So as we are reviewing the whole movie, we will be seeing and we'll be um, finding things out and then we'll talk about it more. I have watched the whole movie, so I'll keep giving you little spoilers, okay. Yes. So on her birthday, she goes and then she buys meat and then she buys soju just to celebrate with her son. And then he gets her the cake and because of his condition, the alexthenia condition, he's unable to like, he's trying to like sing happy birthday to her but he doesn't finish, she just stops saying this. He's like, blow the candle already <laughs> because he's just in a hurry to just walk away. But then. As she, she walks out again to get more soju, and then that's where the drone starts following her. The drone is from um, Alice. The drone is from Alice, the organization Alice. So it starts following her, and then she starts to run because she can recognize it. She's one, she was once a member of Alice, so she knows what the drone is, and she starts to run away from it. If it were me, I wouldn't know, so I would be looking at it and then wondering what it is and I'll probably be saying what a nice drone but she had to run away from it because she already knew what the drone was and then uh, I'll be reviewing um, I'll be reviewing in the next episode I'll, I'll taste and then I'll eat pork belly for the name of pork belly <laughs> And soju. And soju, yes. I'll eat that. And then I'll tell you how it tastes. Because <laughs> we sell it here at Maple Leaf Hotel. Here at the restaurant. I would enjoy it as you watch me eat it. So that you come to Maple Leaf, buy some, and eat. Yes. And then. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then, so. One thing I want to tell you guys is that, um, you know, Jinya was uh, such for the, uh, his mother because he was too late. And he was waiting for his mother to come back. She didn't come back. And he was in the corner. And then when he came back, his mother was there. Was dead. But you can suspect that the man was standing in front of the house, okay? Black yeah, jacket the guy. Black jacket. We are suspected that guy is a killer. Yeah. But we don't know eventually who he was. No? Yeah. I know we know, but we cannot tell yeah, him. Yeah, we don't want to spoil this one. I won't tell you. Let's, let's <laughs> assume that we don't know. But we are suspect that guy is the killer, the mother. No, you and then the viewers don't know. I hope. Yeah, just <laughs> think that way. Just, <laughs> But we yeah, are suspect that uh, that black jacket man also come up in the episode 15 or episode 16. But the reason I talk about this one is because who, some, some people who watch already the whole the episode, the episode okay, that they know that maybe they assume that this is man and kill the mother. And want to help you guys understand about yeah, and it's not, that's why I'm mentioning that. Yeah, that's why I mentioned that. This uh, black jacket man is not the mother. Yeah, 
I think she when she changed it, she just didn't want him to like be curious about. I said to guys, this family is just so complicated for me. <laughs> and funny thing is, he meets his um, father and son would meet, but they don't even know that they are father and son. You know that I I still remember that. Um, you mean like the Chinese father stayed young? Yes. Because I remember that they talk about, uh, they, I remember some line they said, if they stay in the alleys, okay? Yeah. Like the way they stay in the baby, they stay in the 50 years, okay? Yeah, that's how. And I'll send one year to be similar. I mean, I'll send 50 years to alleys, and one year will be similar. Yeah. Like the way time flowing is different. Yeah. That's why the genius father still young. Yeah. That's, that's very you. true. I wish I was staying in Alice. Yeah, then. You <laughs> so that I never hear. Yeah, yes, so that I never grow old. Nice. <laughs> I know some people wish there was Alice in Ghana. That would be nice. Yes. And you know, I'm going to talk about this one that the Chingyons he met again his mother, right? Yeah. So after he becomes the detective and meet the Unsu, like uh, he has some case that some time traveler, time traveler, then yeah, travel to the, the present 2020, and then Unsu's mother went to... And she travels from the future, right? Yeah, yeah she's from the future, yeah. and then in the future, the Unsu's mother, the Unsu was dead, yeah. because she wanted to see the future Unsu's mother, to see the Unsu in the past. And then Jing Yang was um, investigated about the, that case. After that, he found the drone was spying on him. Yeah. And he chased after the drone, and at the moment he saw his mother. Why his mother was so. But did you notice that um, his mother, if not. The, watching the, drone. the woman that looks like his mother was also looking at um, the drone. And he thinks, oh, that's his mom. So he starts running. And then he gets to, um, he gets, he didn't watch the road, and then a car comes to, a truck comes to hit him. And but then, was stopped, right? yeah, time stops. That's the effect from his mom traveling through the wormhole. The wormhole is in the time travel machine, or wherever they're traveling from. Yeah, in order to go to the wormhole, then they have to the uh, time short cut, you know. When you press the button, yeah, they can go to the past uh, yeah. future. Mm -hmm. But when the Chingya, when you try to uh, travel to the past or future again, you don't know, he doesn't know how to use the yeah. time short cut. Yeah. When, when I press the button, but whenever you have the time, you don't want to. You're almost at the, um, instead of dying, you know, then you travel to the past or future. Yeah. That's how, how it is. But then when time stops, okay, the part where the time stops is because he, in the book of prophecy, let me give you a spoiler, in the book of prophecy, the child that is born of the woman that travels through time would um, be able to control time. So he doesn't know that he has that power, but then he does. 
So when that incident happened or that event, he time just stopped and then he was okay. But then he's looking at um, Tei, the professor, and then he's wondering, how is that his mother? And he has tears like, you know, when we're talking about his feelings, he doesn't have feelings. It looks like the only person that can actually make him cry is his mom. What do you think? And the, also the projection of his mother. Yeah. The projection of his mother is Tay. Yeah. Whenever you see Tay, he cry. You know, yeah. When he, uh, his mother his death was cry. Yeah. So whenever they relate to this mother or Tay, he cry. Like, um, the way, um, you know that you guys mother and my mother and Jesus' uh, mother, all mothers, the love is very powerful. They can help us around. But in this realm also, talk about the mother's love also. Yeah, talk about mother's love. The key is the mother's love. Yeah, you see how she was crying when people were like teasing her bullying him, calling him all sorts of names, that he's a psycho kid, and all sorts of things. She was really upset. See how she went to stand on the road, begging for witnesses to the case and everything. That's how far our mothers would go for us. So in that, on that note, happy International Women's Day to all women. <laughs> yes, and it goes a long way to show and see how intelligent she is too. She is, um, okay, that's episode two, so let me just shush. <laughs> yes, there's a part that I was, I was, you see how insensitive Pat Jigyong is, where he he doesn't, he doesn't know how to treat his co-workers. He, he treats them like <laughs> they are nobodies. He doesn't mind. It, yeah, he doesn't mind. Any emotion. Yes, and then where someone, I think someone, um, okay, that has episode two. On the rooftop, someone was trying to kill the lady. So we talk about them on how we treat the, the colleagues, and yeah. the co-workers, and that. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, very. Right. And, and he danced with a with a colleague and then Tay and the two. Them. They stay in the morning together and they use the baroque. Yeah. Doing yeah. dance. It's very funny. That's a spoiler. Yeah. You are spoiling things for the viewers. Viewers, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize on Kim's behalf. They, <laughs> they, I want to put them on the, the, the. I want to snap them on. I want to put our the review the video. Yeah. It will be very funny. So that's the end of our review for episode one. So we'll go to the parts where I eat and you watch. <laughs> and then also uh, we have a Maple Food TV channel, YouTube channel. You guys can check our uh, contents about this review. So I think this will be divided part three or part four. And after that, we'll show you guys about how they so do the eat uh, pork belly, I think I'm saying, and drink. Enjoy the soup, not drink. Then uh, we'll show you guys. Okay? Yes. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Maple TV YouTube channel. Thank you. And please feel free to visit Maple TV hotel every time, any time, to and then visit the Korean restaurant and have nice, delicious Korean dishes. Yes. Bye.